I think a lot of people want to forgive, but they don't know how to do it. The other thing that you have to learn is when you hold on to your history, you do it at the expense of your destiny. So if, if people can understand that as long as they don't forgive, they're poisoning themselves. It's like hating somebody who's hurt you is like taking poison hoping they'll die. It's like me being mad at somebody who hurt me that's out having a good time and don't even care that I'm mad. That doesn't hurt them. Any of you, you think forgiving means accepting what has happened to you. Well, it is accepting that it has happened to you. Not accepting that it was okay for it to happen. It is accepting that it has happened and now what do I do about it? Forgiving is giving up the hope, not holding on, hoping, wishing that it could have been any other way than it actually was. Giving up the hope that the past could be different. And when I got that, I think it took me to the next level of being a better person because I don't hold grudges for anything or any situation and neither should you. It's letting go so that the past does not hold you prisoner, does not hold you hostage. And are taught to think that it is powerful to hold people hostage with what they did wrong, that that's your power, that's how you get back. No, I didn't forget it. I'm strong wow, and I'm good. tough, but it takes more strength to forgive than it does to be vengeful and angry. And the worst part about it is, I really, 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 really believe that forgiveness does not exonerate the perpetrator. It does not justify their behavior. Forgiveness is a gift you give yourself. Because you let it go. Because you let it go so that you are available to be your highest and best self. And because you are saying that I, it is not stronger than me. It is not See? stronger than me. I, I disconnect from it as a sign that I am in control of it. And it is not in control of it. One of the Greek words for forgiveness is similar to the word exhale. It means to get it out of you. When I forgive you, it don't matter whether you stay mad or not. It doesn't matter whether you deserve it or not. This is not about you. When, when I forgive you, that means ah, I got it out of me. Ah, yeah, ah, I got it out of me. Ah, whatever was choking my flow and stopping my blessing and breaking up my peace and keeping me up at night and changing my personality, ah, I got it out of me. You can stay angry all you want to, but as for me and my house, I got it out of me. Slap somebody and say, let it go. Anger, hostility, frustration, bitterness, depression, low self-esteem, whatever's got you choked up, let it go. I've always known this, but somebody told me something one time about forgiveness. Forgiveness is not for the other person. Forgiveness is you. See, your unwillingness to forgive another person is like you sipping the poison waiting on them to die. You can't sip the poison of unforgiveness and expect them to die. Forgiveness is for you. If you got someone who you feel has wronged you and you carrying that, that's like a cancer. And all it's doing is eating away at you. Do you know how many people I've had to forgive that have never asked me for forgiveness? You know how many people I just let go so I could just go where God had for me? Because I just ain't had no more time to spend no more time thinking about that. Let that be a lesson to you. Some, you know what my father told me a long time ago? He said, son, when a fool is talking, listen very carefully. Because listening to a fool is important. Because knowing what not to do is just as important as knowing what to do. Something else I heard somebody say. You can't drive your car looking in the rearview mirror. You can't. If you keep looking in the rearview mirror, you're going to keep crashing your car.
There's a reason why the rear view mirror is this big and the windshield is this big. That's a reason for it. Because all the rear view mirror does is allows you to see what you've passed and to prevent what you've passed from coming up on you again. That's all the rear view mirror is for. The windshield is your future. It's where you're going. It's where you're headed. I hope you all picked up this today. And think about that, how that affects your life. Forgive and grow. I had to let that luggage go. You see, your mind is, is, you know, when you go into a service station to get gas, you don't go in there and just start pumping. When you push the lever up, it clears the previous bill. By the same token, if you want to begin to move, you've got to clear your mind of all the unnecessary luggage and baggage that's weighing us down. I couldn't move, I couldn't think about what am I going to do to get out of this situation because I was so concerned about what happened and what he did to me and how bad it was. I was so stuck in that I couldn't even focus on what I should have done. Feeling sorry for myself and angry and none of that was taking me anywhere. So pretty soon I, I learned through effort, made a conscious, deliberate, determined effort. I had to let it go. I had to forgive it. Let it go and begin to focus on developing myself. And I say to you, you're going to have people to do things to you. Things are going to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go and move so you can grow. So you can get on with your life. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do now, Les? Huh? How long are you going to tell everybody at the bus stop and anybody who would stand and listen to you? How long are you going to repeat the same thing over and over and over and over and over again? How many times do we have to hear that? Don't go around telling people what your story is. Everybody has a story. 80% don't care and 20% glad it's you. So how do you deal with forgiveness? Number one, forgive your parents. You do, you do not become an adult until you have forgiven your parents 100% for every mistake they ever made. Remember, it's never too late to have a happy childhood, so just go back and forgive your parents. If they're no longer with you, forgive them and let them go. So the second thing, forgive any relationship that you ever had that didn't work out. Now this is hard because it's so personal and it's so painful. But if you can forgive your parents, it's a real good warm up. Most people are still mad at their parents in their 50s. If you then forgive every previous relationship, you accept that you were at least partially responsible for getting into the relationship. You were definitely responsible for staying in the relationship. You just say, I am responsible. I am responsible. I am responsible. I bless them and let them go and just let it go. Because in letting them go, you set yourself free. By not letting them go, you're keeping yourself in prison, in an emotional prison. The third thing that you can do is forgive everybody else. Forgive everyone else in your life that has ever hurt you in any way. Every past childhood slight, every sibling, every person in your family, every person you ever worked for, every lousy boss or person who cheated you, lied to you, robbed you and everything else and so on. I mean, just let it go. Just let it go. Remember, it's a selfish act. You're doing it for yourself. And finally, number four, this is really critical, forgive yourself. Look, man, if you got something that's been bothering you in your life, get past it. See, if God wakes you up in the morning, it's a sign from God that he ain't through with you yet. That's why he wakes you up. When he's done with you, you won't wake up no more. But as long as he got something for you, he keeps waking you up. Why don't you wake up to go see what that is? He done got you past whatever it was. Whatever it was that's been on you, he done really brought you through it. Because he keeps waking, you're done. Don't, 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 don't lay that, don't lay that wallowing in your past, man. Your past is back there. I would rather show the world what love do through forgiveness than sit up in here and win a damn argument. Now, I have it on good authority. I've done some research on you before you came here. I find that every single person here has done some wicked, senseless, brainless, foolish, cruel, idiotic, stupid things in their life. Is that true? Yes. Say yes. 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 Let it go. And please understand this. The person who did those things no longer lives, no longer exists. The person you were in the past is a different person than you are today. The person you are today wouldn't do those things because you now have wisdom, you have hindsight, you have 
intelligence, you understand consequences. So the person you are today is a different person from the person you were back then. So don't keep beating yourself up because that, that other person, another person, did something that today you disapprove of. All right? Just let yourself go. Let yourself off the hook. And when you let it all go, it all, it's almost like a huge burden off your back. You just forgive everybody and you forgive everything. And on a go forward basis, you just forgive everybody. You don't care, have any negativities at all. No negativity toward anybody. You're just a positive person. And if you do that, if you accept responsibility, like yourself and forgive everyone else, you become a truly superior person. Most amazing.